Hello and welcome back to our next lecture from this Adobe Spark course. Now, in the previous lectures we have talked about how we can create different types of graphics for social media and for printing also for our different types of marketing campaigns and we have also seen how we can create videos uh, for both business purposes and also personal purposes. Now I want to show you in this video how we can create web pages for our businesses or also for our, our personal purposes using Adobe Spark and all completely for free. Now what we have to do again first of all we have to log into our dashboard we have to click again on the plus sign and we will have the options here web page we select web page as you already know we have the popular web page which is the photo journal and if you scroll down we can see all of the other options like the ones for grow your business for teach and study for sustaining uh, let's say a cause like volunteering or something like I don't know saving a forest somewhere for promoting our brand for organizing an event and again the photo journal okay now because a lot of you are probably interested in promoting and growing your businesses because you are working in marketing or you have your own online businesses or you are doing marketing campaigns uh, we are going to see how we can create a presentation web page okay so we are going to select this template now bear with me for a couple of seconds till the actual uh, web page editor is loaded and here we are it is done basically how are we starting by selecting a theme you can see in the right top corner that we have the option to select a theme now what is a theme for the web pages in Adobe Spark it's uh, uh, basically a type of styles that we use on the page like fonts colors and so on now what we are going to use for this one is the vintage theme which has a specific type of text as you can see right here and now let's add a title example and the subtitle sub example and this is it now as we are scrolling down the page you can see that we have another small plus sign and we can add a different type of element to our web page we can select a photo a text a button a video a photo grid a glide show or a split layout in a split layout we can add different two different types of elements now because in the previous type of uh, elements that we have created with Adobe Sparks in the graphics and in the videos you have seen how we can add text and photos and other things like that I will show you how you can add the photo grid a button a glide show and the split layout okay so it is clear for you now first of all let's try to add a photo grid now we have opened the grid editor as you can see it, it appears here edit grid let's find a few photos that we want to add we are going to search for office and let's select a few and you can see that as we are selecting the photos that we want to add in the grid the grid is automatically created okay it doesn't have a specific type of layout or anything like that okay it will be created automatically by us now if we select one of the photo photos from the grid we can enlarge the photo okay and by enlarging the photo we are creating a different type of grid as you can see let's add another photo so it's even more clearer okay this is how the new type of grid will look like if we select another photo and we want to uh, not replace it but enlarge this one too we have we will have two large photos and three smaller photos so this is how the grid will look like now we are going to save the grid and on our web page this is how the photo grid or collage will look like now let me show you how to add a video why because we are not going to add a video from Adobe Spark but if we are going to select this option we are going to add an embedded video from YouTube basically what we have to do is go on YouTube and copy the code of the embedded video from YouTube and paste it here save it and the video will appear I will cancel it for the moment I think you got the idea now what we are going to add is a glide show which is something a little bit different so it's similar to a collage but uh, it has some extra features and some very very cool effects let's select three photos from here <clears throat> we have all three of them let's save the glide show as it is 
and basically after the collage we have the glide show and the glide show this is how it looks like okay it has a very smooth transitioning effect between photos it's like staying on the web page but the photo is changing and the cool part is that we can add specific elements on the photos like a photo a text a button or a video and because we haven't seen how we can add a button to the web page i will show you here in this option we are going to select a button button uh, let's say it says buy now and here we are putting the website google.com okay we can align the button in the middle or in the right side or left side let's say we want in the middle we are saving the button and above or below the button we can add again either a video on this uh, background image from the glide show or a text or anything like that so this is how the button will look like if we want to edit it we edit it save it and it's very very simple right so this is how we add a button now we can continue with editing our web page i will also show you how we can create a split layout basically in a split layout you can add an image let's select for the sake of this example this one and in the right side we can add a button a photo a text a video whatever we want let's say that we want a text testing one okay we want to align it in the center bold and this is how it will look like okay so we have added a text so this is how the split layout works we can obviously change the positions of the layouts the photo to be in the right and the text in the left side and this is how it's going to look like now after we are done with the web page we can see how it looks like so we go into the preview mode and let's scroll up so this is how the web page looks like the header then we have the collage with the photos then the glide show okay and then the split layout and it's done we have credits okay made with adobe spark this is pretty much it let me close the preview we also can work with the settings header and footer we can turn them off if we have the premium version so the credits for adobe spark won't appear anymore in the footer of the page if we are turning this off and if we have the premium version we can present okay so this is how the web page will look like if we present it so in presentation mode now let me close it or we can share the web page with someone publish and share the link or printing so from publish and sharing the link we just give it a title pick a category photo credits and so on and a link will be created for us and that will be the basically the link of our web page so as you can see it's pretty simple to also create a web page using adobe spark and it's also very very efficient now thank you very much for watching and we are looking forward to see you in our next and final lecture for this course